Hi there, so I just wanted to quickly record uh, the, the current state of the project so far we, uh, because I'm going on vacation as of tomorrow and I really don't uh, want to take time off and do nothing. Yes, and so, so far the API for uh, almost, yeah, all crowd operations for tours and users are done and fully working and also the authorization so let me just quickly start it I'm not sure how you can see it here maybe it's not that zoomed in but I'll try to zoom it more So the folder structure is like this. Uh, here you have controllers, controllers. The dev data basically contains the some data, dev data stuff like mm, collections, imports, and things like that. Models for the tools on the user model. We have to here, uh, here we have the routes and some utility functions and scripts for. No, I don't keep the script here. Yeah. Anyway, okay. Yes. I yeah, the one thing I've mentioned scripts because I have one interesting script for importing the data from JSON. And yeah, it's basically connecting to the database to Goose and it reads file from the JSON uh, data over here, and then it's the it deletes deletes it or it's, it is important based on the um, parameter to provide. And yes, okay. So that's the dev data, the model. You have the models here, and that's it. Nothing complicated. We have config file over here with some random stuff. Yes, and here is a server that's connecting the starting and uh, it's an it's a initializing for the app. Different middlewares are marked marked over here in this file. Yes, but okay, that's it. I don't want to go much uh, that much more in details now in, in code, but I will just share how the API is working. So let me close all of these tabs. And this is Postman. I hope you are familiar or at least heard of it, but it's nothing special. It's just requesting the. It's making request to, to the server and you can specify the request it can be get post patch put delete and all of other requests um, and first yes we need to to log in the user and fail okay that's nice fail yeah it's fail of course it's fail because we don't have that user let me think of some music. Admin. Oops. What's the password? What was the password? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Is it that one? No. Incorrect. Yeah, but as you can see, I've implemented uh, error handling and it's good that we now get incorrect emails or passwords. Alright, I will, yeah, maybe I will sign up a new user. That's also cool. And that user won't be admin. For admin users, 
uh, have um, I have some special data on uh, some special property on on motors where it specifies if the tool is private and if it's if it's private. No, not private. If uh, if tour, because we don't actually want to delete tours. I'm just marking them. I'm adding a field marking them as deleted. If they are deleted and that field is then true. And if if they are admin, they they can see all the tours. Mm. Name x x x x. email is already taken anyway admin x and nice we get a token and the user data back and the good thing with about postman is that when uh, you can configure it for example you have you, you can have different environments now I'm on dev and you, you have different variables like this here. I just say uh, I have that variable URL and it's specified in the environment settings and it just gets the the link from there and replace replacing it here as it makes the request. And in this case for the dev environment it's basically localhost. And now that we have the, G, the, the token, I also have some setup in the, here in Postman where it takes this token from response and it is recorded in the environment so we can use it there later on in different requests rather than writing and copy pasting it ourselves. Alright, so now we have a user and Basically, when you sign up, you you get the token back, the sign token, and you can use the application. So I will try now to get the, get all tours. Um, let's remove some filters. Yeah, I've also added filters for filtering uh, tours. and we get all the tours and so far we have we are, we are working we are working with the data of nine and if i for example add a filter and the duration is no i think yeah the duration of five i'm not sure if, if i have the data duration of five yeah i have two results that do with the duration of five and here is five. Yay! That's nice. It was very, very great. It was very, very in a nice film when I was working with this, and everything was working like it's very uh, it don't need not that much of a hassle. <clears throat> uh, and the reason for that is because Mongoose have, has a very nice way of filtering data. And yes, I've also implemented some aliases for get top. Oh yeah, but basically this request should return the top chip tours, top top chip tours, and but I've modified for some reason the URL. Let me just quickly check. What was the actual alias name for that? Ah, come on! Top five tours. Yeah, here it is. Top five tours. Are yeah, we have five of them. 
that satisfy the criteria that we provided. Mm, yeah, we provide it in in a tour model middleware. But anyway, I will. Yeah, I think I will get in much more details later on when I will have more working you know, servers. So I want to go more in depth with it. So I will just I, I just not want I want to share the, the current state. And after that, we have yeah. There is there is also in my, um, in my boost there are pretty way, ways to do uh, data aggregation, and we have this API where you, you can get more, um, you can request on the planning for some year for a given year. You just make you will get number of tours and uh, name of tours and at uh, which month they're planning to be executed so and according the idea is based on that you can plan the with, with your guides who is free and all that stuff what the sun why are you so strong, son? Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, am I missing something? Should I mention something here? I can't remember. And sorry, but I'm pretty new with sharing stuff like that on, on internet and it's pretty it's a bit of an uncomfortable for me so and there, there will be some adjustment period okay that's our tours and I'm not perfect so there's um, you can always learn, learn and improve yourselves la 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 anyway my mind is going sideways yeah and we have get users and point to get all of the users and yeah where is that admin here it is all right the, I've pointed out about this is because we tried to log in before with that one no with that one that's the new one that we created mm. Yeah, we have we implemented our password reset and forgot password. Yeah, and these ones were. I, I I'm pretty new to to, to implement it, that kind of stuff, and you need to think forward about these things. They are not. And there are things that not, they are not that much obvious, but you need to think of them and implement and take measures so someone won't abuse them in the future. Update user, delete, yeah, they are update user, we can delete users. It's not that much fun. Alright, yeah. I guess that's it. The application is working and up next we'll be implementing bookings and adding locations for for the tours. And yeah, I think that's there is a bit more but I'm close to finishing this. And after I'm done uh, with this I plan to because uh, my day-to-day -day work I work with GraphQL uh, and Apple server and client and the front of this uh, we use React with uh, Gatsby and all of that is type type scripted and all of the types are auto generated with uh, we use code gen for that and that's a pretty well orchestrated um, setup and I 
very much love it and um, the team that I'm that I, uh, with that I'm working with they are very very much they they have too much they are very experienced experienced but what I'm trying to say and I'm very glad that I'm working with them because I'm learning so much every day and I want to shift this project with using these technologies but I want to go uh, to go step by step and yeah and maybe you, you, you're asking yourself but why are you doing this now with REST APIs Be the reason is because I want to try it and be confident that I can do it and have some experience and yeah that's the reasons simple mm. I guess that's it. Alright, have a great weekend and I'm on vacation. I have 10 days vacation and I'm very much looking forward to it. Can't wait and I will try not to touch any screens, any keyboards and things like that. But I will yeah, maybe if I if I get bored I might do something. But I will see. Have a great weekend guys. Right to in in sort that will be our recovery. Yeah, so yeah, and also it's nice to see a city I I've never been on a on a ride since this Corona thing started. So yeah, it looks great and everything is green. Yeah, this is true. Oops, right. Some dogs over there.